Me gusta. Hello, I'm Six Hundred Seven, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install mods that don't require Forge or Mod Loader into Minecraft, and that requires a bit of fiddling, a bit of editing of some files in order for that to happen. So, first you need to download that mod or mods that you want to install into Minecraft, but do not require Mod Loader Forge. So, I'm going to get too many items, and I'm going to select the 1.6.2 version, non-Forge version. Now, the non-Forge version can use Mod Loader, but if you haven't got Mod Loader, it still works perfectly fine. So, I'm going to select that download it and I've got it downloaded here. Now I need to come into Minecraft and I need to create a profile which uh, as a release version needs to be the version of Minecraft you want to mod and that's going to be 1.6.2 for me so I have that and then click play and that will basically download a clean version of that Minecraft version. Now you want to come into the .minecraft directory which you can do by going to start, type in percent, update it, percent, hit enter, click enter to roaming and open .minecraft. You want to come into there and then you go into a good versions and then here you should find, there might be other ones there, but you should find your version of Minecraft is a number there. So I had 1.6.2, so I've got a file called 1.6.2. If you had like Minecraft version 1.5.2, it would say here 1.5.2. Anyway, you want to copy and paste that and basically rename that anything that's not a, num a version of Minecraft. So I want to call this, I don't know, too many items 1.6.2. Actually, no, I'll just call it too many items mod. Uh, and now you want to do now what you want to do is you want to copy the name of that folder so word for word all case sensitive and rename the dot jar inside of that folder that and the dot json which is like just a file that as well so all the same name and then you want to open that dot json file and open that with notepad or notepad plus plus I personally use plus plus because it formats it well if you use normal notepad it will format it weirdly anyway yeah and you want to at the top it says id and the ID says 1.6.2. You want to remove that and paste the name of the folder, the jar, and the JSON file. So this should all be the same name. And now this um, .jar file for 1.6.2 is ready to be modded. So we just open it, open it with WinRAR. First, delete meta inf because without like an API that can overcome that, it creates a lot of problems. And then open too many items and drag all the class files into our Minecraft.jar file. And now when you come into Minecraft, you need to create a new profile, call it whatever, so I'm going to call it too many items, 1.6.2, and then under release version, so when it says use version, you want to change that to release, and then the name of that folder that you had, so I called it TMI mod, therefore the release is called release TMI mod. Change whatever else you want to, so resolution to whatever, or everything else, I'd say keep the name directory unchecked. Save profile, and then when you select that one, which is here, it will play it using that release version you just modded. So if I just create a world quickly and then we open uh, inventory you can see here that too many items has been installed successfully. Thanks for watching yet another tutorial based around the new Minecraft launcher if you've got any more requests for tutorials about the new launcher or any anything with Minecraft in general please put them in the comment section and hopefully I'll see you guys next video. Bye!